Hello, this is Carolyn Herforth with The Biz Truth. Welcome back. Until I moved to New York, it had been a good five years since I bought a jar of peanut butter. I had quit buying processed foods at home and would only eat them on occasion when I was out traveling or at a restaurant. It was kind of my treat. But when I moved to New York, I was busy. Too busy to shop, too busy to cook, so I picked up a jar of peanut butter and I would use it as my backup for protein on apple slices when I needed to grab a quick meal. And then I started getting tired of peanut butter on apple slices. So I grabbed a loaf of bread, more processed food, and then I would grab takeout more frequently. And the bad eating habits started creeping back. And the next thing you know, I'm packing on the pounds. Not good, <laughs> not good. But it happened kind of gradually, probably not so gradually, but I didn't see it coming. For some reason, I just figured I was walking more so my bad eating decisions were a wash, right? Uh-uh, not so much. The same thing can happen in your business. You attend a training program and you use your newly learned skills for a few days or maybe a few weeks and then the old habits start creeping in. It happens to me all the time. In fact, it even happens with my own sales. And here's my confession, here's an example. I recently created an invitation only mentorship program and I was so focused on my life and my business and other stuff going on that I didn't follow my own damn sales formula. I shouldn't call it a damn sales formula, but my own sales formula. I didn't prepare myself the way that I teach my clients to. And as a result, I let a few prospects down because they would really benefit. It would be transformational for them to be in this program, but I messed up, so they didn't join. So I want to know what your peanut butter is. What bad habits are you letting creep back into your business that left unchecked will let your prospects down or you? I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. So please share with me what your peanut butter is. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.